everyone, I'm Dakota and welcome back for another week of to read or not to read, that is the question. This week we're going to be talking all about gardening and plants and what you can do to help out and get started. Maybe you don't know where to begin, or maybe you are a master gardener and already have all the answers, but maybe you're wondering what plants you should plant, or maybe you're concerned about how can I keep these deer away from my garden this year? Well, we have all the answers for you right here. So this first book I'm going to highlight is called Gardening for the Birds by George Adams. And this book talks all about the different species of birds that you could find um, depending on where you live geographically in the United States. If you are looking to attract a certain species, what plants that you want to plant in your backyard. Perhaps you don't have enough space to plant them in your backyard. How you can, can, how you can plant in containers to help attract some of these different birds and then different seasonal birds. So if you want a bird to come in the spring or the fall, what plants that you can actually plant in your garden to help attract them during those times. And it also has some pictures and information about the birds and how to identify them and identify birds that do come to your garden. This next one is titled, Deer Proofing Your Yard and Garden by Rhonda Massingham Hart. A lot of people, especially if you live closer to the hills here, have issues with deer. Whether or not you see them, but you may come out one morning and all of a sudden all the little buds in your tomato plant are gone, or your flowers. So this book talks about all the different plants that you can plant that deer tend to avoid. It talks about different store-bought things that you can purchase that are also safe for the environment that you can put on the plants to help um, deter deer from eating them. And it also talks about different fences that you can use or cages over your plants to help deter these, these cute little pests that may be bothering some of your plants and garden this year. This book is titled Perennials for Every Purpose. Choose the right plans for your conditions, your garden, and your taste. And this book um, has a ton of different information on what plants to plant in the shade. If you're looking for a perennial that comes back every year in the shade, maybe one that's low maintenance, perhaps you have an area that gets really waterlogged, maybe a super sunny location. This has all the different plants that you could ever need and even if you are considering how to have a certain layout for your plants, how to colorscape, this book has it all and for all different types of environments. So if you're looking for different perennials and tips and tricks, suggest this book. Lastly, I'm going to highlight, since we do live surrounded by the prairie, Prairie Style Gardens, and it has a ton of, um, this is by Lynn Steiner, and it has a ton of different information on different native perennials that you can plant. And again, whether or not you have enough space in your backyard to plant some of these, you can also plant some of them in containers or in raised beds, and it talks all about that, and then different times of the year to plant certain ones so that you have different ones blooming at different times. If you're looking to get back to your native roots, I highly suggest this book. Gardening is so important. It can reduce stress. I know when I get home every day, I love to go check on my garden and see how it's doing. It, you get vitamin D from the sun when you're outside tending to your garden, and it's something that is a hobby that you can do lifelong. So whether you are looking to plant different flowers at your house, or whether you're looking to grow more food sustain sustainably for yourself, whether you're planting tomatoes or peppers or eggplants, we have all the books here that you could ever need to, to know about gardening and more. We'll see you next week on another edition of To Read or Not To Read. That is the question.